This is the all new Parrot OS 6. Now many people would not have even heard of Parrot OS because Parrot is kinda an underground Linux distro. But believe me when I say it's one of the most powerful computing systems on the face of the earth and it's used for some really advanced cybernetic operations like hacking, penetration testing, digital forensics and privacy protection. This is exactly why Parrot Linux flies under most people's radar. Parrot Linux is the ultimate weapon in the digital frontier. It's one of the two dark horses in the Linux world, the other being Kali Linux. While Parrot does provide you with an arsenal of hacking tools, it also provides an addition which is focused on protecting your privacy. To keep yourself and your family safe and anonymous online and help you protect yourself in this age of massive digital tracking. Parrot OS has released their next mega release, that is Parrot OS 6 and it comes with new and improved versions of everything. Parrot 6 also comes with an updated set of offensive as well as defensive tools for digital security. Oh, there's a lot here. So let's jump right in and take a deep dive with the all new Parrot Linux 6. By the way, if you are interested in penetration testing, hacking and digital security, having a strong foundation of Linux commands and knowing how to work with the terminal is a prerequisite for mastering these. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Parrot OS provides 7 different ISO files. Now these are different editions specialized for specific use cases like cloud deployment, Raspberry Pi, hacking training and a few other cases. But our ISOs of interest today are the first two, Security Edition and Home Edition. These are kinda the main editions here. The Security Edition is designed specifically for penetration testing and red team operations. A red team's work is to attack and find flaw or vulnerabilities in the security of a system not attack other systems but their own systems to find points of weaknesses and reinforce them. Don't use this to attack other systems and go to jail. Anyway, Parrot OS Security Edition comes fully loaded with tools and software needed for this kind of offensive work. In fact, it's a powerhouse for such things. Then there's the Home Edition, which is going to be the spotlight of this video as it will be vastly more usable and useful for us. This is designed to be our daily driver with privacy boosted to the next level. Parrot OS Home Edition comes with all your day-to-day -day software like an office suit, multimedia players and other utilities pre-installed and anything else you want, you can install using the Synaptic Package Manager here. But when it comes to privacy and security, this is not your everyday operating system. With high-end security tools like AnonSurf, Tor and other things, this distro offers state-of-the-art protection in this age of digital nakedness. And this edition is also developer friendly with VS Codium IDE pre-installed and with out of the box support for a number of programming languages like Go, Rust and Python. The user interface here is exactly what you'd expect from a security oriented Linux distro. Right from the boot splash screen, Parrot OS gives you that underground hacker vibe. Tell me this glitch loading screen isn't cool. Your desktop too has that theme centered around hacking. It looks like something that's straight out of Hollywood hacking scenes. I really like the default wallpaper, it's cool. Parrot OS uses the XFC desktop on both the security and home editions. The theme is interesting here, darkish with aqua blue colors that add that electric look to your desktop. We get two panels here and two menus, because everybody knows that you need two menus for hacking the Wi-Fi. Hacker man, yeah, two menus. You get places and system settings menu here and then you have your favorites tagged here for quick access and you get a quick view of your system performance here. Then you have standard quick controls like the volume, Wi-Fi and a calendar. The user interface on both Parrot Home Edition and Parrot Security Edition is exactly the same. All the applications are in dark mode here, adding to the hacker man enigmatic look. I must say, the desktop looks very good here. Things are not overblown trying to get the hacker vibe here. 
the desktop feels contemporary and familiar. Ultimately, it's XFC and XFC has a very high degree of usability. Sure, you have to get adjusted to using this system here. And there is that learning curve till you get familiar with the system. Overall, I liked how Parrot looks. The desktop has a personality and doesn't shy away from showing what Parrot OS is. At the same time, it's highly usable, but you need to get familiar with it. One of the main differences between Parrot OS Home Edition and Security Edition is the inclusion of pen testing tools. The Security Edition comes pre-installed with an arsenal of offensive and penetration testing tools that let you do a whole lot of things. Again, these tools and Parrot OS are not meant to be used for illegal purposes. So yeah, don't do things that are going to get you into jail. Be smart, use your head. But then, most tools here require that you know what you're doing to be able to use them. There is no big red button labeled hack here that's going to do the hacking for you. But if you know what you're doing, you're going to enjoy the set of tools provided here. Now I'm not very familiar with this line of work, but top tools like Aircrack NG which is used to break Wi-Fi passwords, John the Ripper for password cracking, Wireshark which is used for network traffic analysis, Burpsuit used for testing the security of websites and web apps, Nmap, which is a network discovery and auditing tool, and many more advanced tools that are helpful in information gathering, vulnerability analysis, and digital forensics are provided here. Parrot OS is fully loaded. For people in this field, Parrot OS brings out the big guns. I don't even know the ABCs of this field, but stuff looks dangerous here. Now Parrot is often compared to Kali Linux which is yet another pen testing operating system. Kali 2 is based on Debian. It too is very lightweight and comes with the exact same set of tools that we see here. Parrot OS has additional defensive security stuff pre-installed and I felt that it's very developer friendly, out of the box. But Kali Linux is more popular compared to Parrot and I think it's mostly preferential. Use whichever you like. Both are pretty much the same when it comes down to business. While Kali Linux is great, Parrot OS provides something that Kali doesn't. Parrot OS is not just for hackers and pen testers, but it's also designed for the privacy conscious as well. Parrot Security Edition as well as the Home Edition come with a set of privacy tools and security enhancements that promote your digital privacy. Take a note of the Home Edition especially here because it comes with high level privacy and security tools but doesn't have all the hacking and pen testing stuff here. This is your everyday usage system with privacy dialed up to the max. Starting off, we get Parrot's homegrown AnonSurf here. AnonSurf is a very simple GUI that uses the TOR circuit underneath. With this, you become absolutely anonymous online and your digital footprint is completely masked. When AnonSurf is turned on here, all your internet traffic is routed through the TOR circuit. And what exactly is this TOR circuit? Let me explain. When you normally connect to the internet, your computer or phone directly establishes a connection to the website or service you connect to. There will be intermediate nodes here like your mobile tower, your internet service provider, etc. But the main thing here is, everybody knows who you are through your unique IP address. But when you use the TOR circuit, your connection is not directly established with the website you visit. Instead, your connection is sent to a random TOR node, which is a TOR volunteer's computer which is then sent to another random TOR node, which is then sent to another random TOR node. This third node connects to the website you requested and all these three nodes act as middlemen. So as far as the website is concerned, it is the last node that's connected to it. As far as your internet provider or SIM card company is concerned, you are connected to a random IP somewhere. So nobody really knows what you're doing online, which website you visit, who you talk to, everything gets completely anonymized. And the whole communication is secured using encryption, so even when there are many parties in the middle, all your data is secure and unreadable. Tor really takes your online anonymity to the next level. But of course, nothing is 100% secure and there is the chance for human error. For example, if you log into your Facebook account using Tor, Facebook will still know it's you. If you tell somebody your name and address when using Tor, it defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? So just using Tor doesn't make you invincible. You still have to be careful. And don't do anything illegal just because you are using Tor. I cannot stress this enough. Tor, Anonsurf, Paratois, they don't make you invincible online. Yes, they really dial up the privacy, but still, they are not meant to be used for illegal purposes. If you do, you alone are responsible. Then there are a host of powerful cryptographic tools here that let you encrypt files, folders and even entire partitions. 
With this, even if your device gets stolen, all your data remains private and secure. Then there's a metadata cleaner pre-installed as well here. When you take a photo on your phone, you can see the photo, but there's a lot you can't see. But someone who knows how to look will be able to see a lot more than the photo. The photo or video's metadata contains the exact geolocation of the photo, device and camera information and such. So when you share a photo, let's say of a product that you bought online onto a forum, you are essentially giving out your home address to people you don't even know. It's not just geolocation. Things like author of a document, computer information, network information, company name and a lot more information can be hidden in metadata of files. This info can be used to identify you when you don't want to be identified, track you, locate you, stalk you, study you and do a lot more. So it's always better to remove the metadata before sharing files. Then there's also a secure file deleter here. Essentially, most deleted files can be recovered using certain tools, even if you have deleted them from the trash as well. The data is there, but it's not just shown in the file manager, but the data is there. But files that are shredded cannot be generally recovered. So when you really want to delete a file, like really delete a file, you can use the secure file deleter here. Using any or all of these tools can significantly ramp up your digital privacy. And in this age of digital tracking, digital nakedness, we can use all the privacy we can get. Parrot has been built ground up with performance in mind. It uses the XFC desktop environment, but the way it looks, there are no compromises in the looks department. At the same time, all the advantages of using XFC desktop are here. XFC is a super lightweight desktop that delivers phenomenal performance. Because of its low resource usage, this desktop runs great on a range of hardware. XFC uses just north of 500 MBs of RAM and uses very less computation power to run. This ensures that Parrot runs great on old computers. And on newer, even moderately powerful hardware, Parrot runs butter smooth. The responsiveness is fantastic here. App launching speeds are amazing. Even switching between multiple apps is instantaneous here. This system feels so fluid when you're using it. Of course, heavier tasks like rendering, compiling are going to be dependent on your hardware. But this system is optimized enough to squeeze every ounce of performance from your hardware. Top points for the performance. Parrot OS is based on Debian Stable. Super solid stability is just one of the benefits that Parrot gets because of this fact. Debian Stable is one of the most solid operating systems in the world. It undergoes extensive testing and its reputation has been undeniable in this department. As a testament for this stability, many top distros are based on various versions of Debian. You can use Debian anywhere you want. Parrot builds on this stability. The security edition is a special purpose OS, but the home edition is fully deployable anywhere with added emphasis on privacy. Parrot OS can be used by students, software professionals, journalists, and anywhere where a computer can be used. You are going to get a very reliable computing platform with Parrot OS. Talking about the usability, yes, Parrot looks a bit different and it is a bit different from other systems, so there is a learning curve here. You have to put in some time to understand and use Parrot specific features like AnonServe and other privacy tools. Those require some time. But most other things will be familiar to you. Day to day things like browsing the web, working with the office suit, media consumption, it all remains the same. And if you want, you can install additional software for your needs directly from the Synaptic Package Manager here. Parrot OS also aims to be developer friendly. It comes with VS Codeium, the open source version of VS Code pre installed. Python, Go and Rust are also installed. You can install other languages and tools directly from Debian repositories here. So in the stability and usability department, Parrot OS is very good. Yeah, you might feel a small initial friction here, especially if you're new to the world of Linux, but it passes pretty quickly. But yeah, there are other distros that are more usable than Parrot. But if you want features that Parrot offers, you're gonna find Parrot to be just as usable. Parrot OS gives you full access to all the software in Debian Stable repositories. And there are more than 50,000 well-tested packages in Debian Stable repositories. So we can say that the software availability here is just top grade. Pretty much any software created for Linux will be available here in stable versions. Not the latest, but stable and reliable versions. Packages in Debian Stable repositories undergo extensive testing. So anything you install from here, you can be sure that it'll work absolutely flawlessly but the version is going to be slightly older. You should also be able to install and use snaps and flatpacks here. With them, 
your software library gets even bigger. And you'll also have access to the latest version of all the packages with snaps and flat packs. With Parrot, thanks to its Debian base, you get that freedom to turn Parrot into whatever you want. Install the software set that you want and use it the way you want. Easy peasy. There are two ways of using Parrot OS. You can install it on your hard disk and use it just like your other operating systems. Or you can live boot into it and use it. And when you use it this way, you're not missing out on any features. Yes, you can use all the tools and features provided by Parrot even in a live session. Of course, persistent storage should be handled by you manually. From the same live session, you can start the installation process which is handled by the Calamaris installer. Calamaris is a very simple installer and many Linux distros use it. All the operations like partitioning, user creation are all represented in a very simple way here. I recommend that you check out Parrot in a live session before you commit to installing it. And after installation, for specific drivers, you can follow the guides or instructions written for Debian 12 here. They'll work with Parrot 6. In a world where personal privacy is more pertinent than ever before, Parrot OS emerges as a beacon. It gives you the power to protect what's rightfully yours, your data and privacy. Parrot OS is undeniably a special purpose operating system that's targeted towards hackers, penetration testers and other security professionals. And it comes loaded with all the industry standard tools for the job. While that version is cool, it's the home edition that I want to particularly interest you with. It lets you do everything you do on your current operating system. It just makes it easier for you to protect your digital privacy. Now I don't want to create a paranoia. Yeah, put your tinfoil hats down please. While it's true that most websites and services that you use collect a huge amount of data about their users, it's mostly done for the purpose of advertisement. And advertisement is a necessary evil to keep the internet free. I know it's not ideal, but it is what it is. But yeah, they're not collecting your data so that they can come and take you down, kidnap you or something. They just want to sell you earphones. At least I hope so. Personally, I would not use Parrot OS full time, even with its added layer of security. But I think a live session of Parrot OS booted straight from a USB stick is great when you're using public computers, which can have keyloggers, malware, and other potential risky entities. Or even when you're using your computer with public Wi Fi's, which might track and collect your personal data. And Parrot OS is also great when you're dealing with sensitive information. Apart from penetration testers, Parrot OS is a great suit for journalists, whistleblowers, police entities and other people for whom identity protection is very important. Use it on an as-needed basis. Now you have a power tool to protect yourself online if and when the need comes. Parrot OS 6 combines unique aesthetics, great functionality, undeniable stability, a vast software repository in one fantastic parity package. Parrot OS is a great combo. You can download Parrot OS using the link given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up. Check out this fantastic distro called LMDE. It's taking the Linux world by storm and it's unlike anything you have seen it. So absolutely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.